Lord, we can't praise you enough. And we just want to thank you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, in all that you've done through the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we just can't thank you enough. We praise you. We honor you. Now, Lord, let this word that we're going to minister and help us this morning, let it, let it be in truth the way that you would. And we just give you all the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name. Tracy, did these call in this morning? Praise the Lord. Um, well, thank God for his word. And the, I want to, let's read one verse of scripture and then we'll see, we'll, we'll go from there. Praise God. Um, over in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, I think it is. No, I'm sorry, it's the 3rd chapter. Hebrews 3rd chapter. It says, Wherefore, a holy brethren... Partakers of the heavenly calling consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Now, I know it's said a lot before, it's said a lot after this, but let's consider our high priest, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's consider him today. Let's consider the word. Now, I don't, whatever, whatever's going on in your life, if it's something negative in some way, the first thing we ought to do is consider Jesus. You know, back through the years, come out this thing, what would Jesus do? Well, that's, that's, that's just fine. And, but Let's consider Jesus. Let's consider the Word of God. Whatever it is that uh, maybe you may be facing, look, it's not, it's not always pleasant in this life we're living. You know, some people might it kind of give you the impression you ain't going to go through anything. Or when you come to Jesus, you ain't going to have any problems. Why, that's silly. That is not the truth. Because we have to, uh, we have to stand on the word of God, and there, of course, there is. There's lots of difficulties, but here's the thing. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ. Yes. See, that's according to uh, Romans. I guess it's the eighth chapter. So all these things, neither death nor life nor principality nor power nor, nor just, a, just a whole uh, slew of things there that may be coming against a person. He says, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. So you know what this morning? We are, we are conquerors. We are more than conquerors. So the devil's not going to come in and steal our lives unless we let him. And let me tell you this too, the devil is not the opposite of God. No, he's not. No, he's not. Somebody, what? The, what? The devil is not the opposite of God. No, he, have he, he is not in the category of God, never will be, never could be. No. And you could take a hundred devils and they wouldn't be in the category of God. Or Jesus is either for that matter. He is not the opposite of God. He may be the opposite in his, uh, the only opposite he would be is in the negative side of the positive. That's it. Power-wise, authority-wise, any of that, he's not the opposite, so don't, don't believe that. Don't, see, people have bragged on the devil so much that uh, they've made him look like he's as big as God is. Now he's, you know, you can't overcome, oh, oh, you know, how are you going to overcome that? The Bible says, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Didn't say he's the same and don't know how we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to strategize and, and outthink him and outsmart him. And <laughs> that's what you'd have to do if he's equal. 
You'd have to out-strategize him, out-smart him, out-think him, get ahead of him. No, 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 no. That's not what, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> greater. When something's greater, it's greater. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Praise God. I testify to that this morning. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And I tell you what, if you're, if you're uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit and you can pray in the Spirit, I encourage you to do it. You do it. The Jude says, Beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So do it. Pray in the Holy Ghost. How do I do it? I'll tell you what you do. See, it's been taught all through the years that you can't do that unless you're in a church service and the music is a blasting and, and you know, everything is just right and, and someone or other you kind of get over in the spirit. But let me tell you something. And there is, that is part of it. 